Namaste everyone and thank you for joining me for our second Buddhist reading meditation. As always, you do not need to be a Buddhist to enjoy this meditation. You can be of any religion or no religion at all because this is simply a meditation in mindfulness. So in my previous video, we did a meditation on Buddha's Sutra on the full awareness of breathing. And in that Sutra, he mentions the four establishments of mindfulness. So our next reading is going to be Buddha's words or his sutra on the four establishments of mindfulness, which to him are the body, the feelings, the mind, and the objects of the mind. Because Buddha says, you can't be mindful of nothing. You have to be mindful of something. So I'm going to explain what he means by the four of them and then read you his actual words from Thich Nhat Hanh's book, Awakening of the Heart. And then we'll spend about a minute and a half being mindful and meditating on the body, feelings, mind and objects of the mind. So feel free to close your eyes now if you like as I explain each one. So being mindful of the body means being mindful of the parts of the body, the position of the body, and most of all, of our breath. Being mindful of our feelings is being mindful of any feelings of pain, any feelings of pleasure, any neutral feelings, feelings you have perhaps of the past, the present, or of the future. Being mindful of the mind means being mindful of our thoughts and the state of our thoughts or our mind, whether that be positive or negative, um, confusion, desire, uh, our mind might be concentrating. So being mindful of the thoughts and the state of the mind. And then lastly, being mindful of the objects of the mind. And by this, he means our senses, our, uh, what we see, what we hear, smell, taste, and feel. So all of the above, the body, the feelings, the mind, but most important of our perceptions, perceptions of color and form. So you'll understand, perceive, and have memories of a leaf, for instance, different from someone else's. And that leaf will inevitably be thought of as a single entity, just a leaf. Whereas Buddha says that we must be mindful of our perception of our dharmas, which is everything that we conceive as existing. So our understanding, our memories, our experience of leaves will create a perception for us of that leaf that could be different from someone else's. And instead of it being a single entity, the leaf wouldn't exist without the branch, the trunk, the roots, the earth, the sun and the rain. So it's part of something more, that we're all a part of each other, that everything is connected. And that's the inquiry into the objects of the mind, the perception and the understanding that everything is one. So finding yourself in a comfortable position with the back nice and straight, closing the eyes and just starting with observing your breath, not putting any effort into it, just observing the breath, making sure the body is comfortable and remembering that it's completely normal to get distracted. But if you do get distracted by thoughts coming into the mind, any sounds or anything around you, just acknowledge that, push it away and keep returning your focus mindfully to the words and to the meditation. The Sutra on the Four Establishments of Mindfulness. When Buddha was asked, what are the four establishments? He replied, first, a practitioner remains established 
in the observance of the body in the body, diligent, with clear understanding, mindful, having abandoned every craving and every distaste for this life. Second, he remains established in the observation of the feelings, in the feelings, diligent, with clear understanding, mindful, having abandoned every craving and every distaste for this life. Third, he remains established in the observation of the mind, in the mind, diligent, with clear understanding, mindful, having abandoned every craving and every distaste for this life. And fourth, he remains established in the observation of the objects of the mind, in the objects of the mind, diligent, with clear understanding, mindful, having abandoned every craving and every distaste for this life. We'll begin with a minute and a half of being mindful of our body. Mindful of our feelings. Mindfulness of the mind.
mindfulness of the objects of our mind. And gently releasing the meditation to bring your awareness to the space around you. Giving yourself a couple of long deep breaths. As you check in with yourself. Seeing how you feel in mind and body. Perhaps a little bit calmer. A little bit more peaceful. I hope you've enjoyed meditating on Buddha's Sutra and the four establishments of mindfulness. If you haven't seen the other one, uh, my first Sutra reading, then do have a look or the other meditation, Shavasana or yoga videos that I have on this YouTube channel. You can also see them on the Instagram page, Indiv underscore yoga and feel free to get in touch with me. I wish you the rest of a lovely day. Namaste.